Hey guys, what is up? It is Kuiper for real. Welcome back to another video. I know I didn't post Friday. That's because I uh, sprained my foot Thursday and it was really hurting. And um, my mom told me to wear a boot, but I didn't want to. So I had to walk on my heel all day, which hurt my leg. And all I wanted to do was relax, guys. So <clears throat> today's story is unstoppable. And we are coming from the scriptures, Acts 13 and 2 through 12. One day, as these men were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Delicate, d dedicate, what the Holy Spirit said, dedicate Barnabas and Saul for the special work to which I have called them. So, after more fasting and prayer, the men laid their hands on them and set them on their way. So, Barnabas and Saul were sent out by the Holy Spirit. They went down to the seaport of Salakia and then sailed for the island of Cyprus. There in the town of Samalamas, they went to the Jewish synagogues and preached the word of God, just like I'm doing, and my pastor at our church, like he's been doing for years. John Mark went with them as their assistant. Afterward, they traveled from town to town across the entire island until finally they reached the pop the. The Paphos, where they met a Jewish sorcerer. <clears throat> a false prophet named Bar Jesus. What, is, what, what? what this guy doing? What is this guy doing? I don't know. I do not know. He had attached himself to the governor, Sergius Paulus, who was an intelligent man. The governor invited Barnabas and Saul to visit him, for he wanted to hear the word of God, but Elimus the sorcerer, <clears throat> and as his name means in Greek, <clears throat> in interfered and argued the governor to, to pay no attention to what Barnabas and Saul said. He was trying to keep the governor from believing What is this guy doing? He wants to be a false prophet but not only that he don't want people to believe in the name of Jesus. What is going on? Because I do not know. But I do not like it. No, no, no. Saul, also known as Paul, was filled with the Holy Spirit, and he looked the sorcerer in the eye. Then he said, You son of the devil, full of every sort of deceit and fraud, an enemy of all that is good, will you never stop perverting the true ways of the Lord? Watch now, for the Lord has laid his hands of punishment upon you, and you will be struck blind. You will not see the sunlight for some time. Instantly, mist and darkness came over the man's eyes. <clears throat> and he began groping around, begging for someone to take his hand and lead him. When the governor saw what had happened, he became a believer, for he was astonished at the teaching about the Lord. So he didn't want them to believe. Well, guess what? Believed anyways. Kind of stupid guy. Um, This shows us a lot about what the power of God can do. And um, to believe in the Lord, 
and don't try to become somebody you're not and don't try to like make people think you're Jesus and be a sorcerer or whatever don't right here it says Elimias or Elimas thought he could stop Paul and Barnabas from sharing the good news well guess what he couldn't Elimas was wrong and God blinded for his actions him for his actions some people today try to stop Christians from sharing their faith. In fact, someone might have tried to stop you from sharing your faith. Although it may appear at times that these people are winning, they will never succeed. God is much more powerful. Remember that God is always on your side and he will defeat anyone who opposes him. Your job is to keep sharing the good news no matter what. <clears throat> Romans 8 and 31. What shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? That's good right there. I'm going to talk about that. See, I know a song. A song that um, we sing in kids' church at our church. It goes a little like, it goes a little something like this. Um, all we do is, um, uh, trying to remember it. It goes, um, if God is for us, who can be? Who can be against me? So, basically it tells us, <clears throat> if God is for us, or if we believe in the name, then who can stop us? Like, we're going to take on the world! Okay, not like that. But, <laughs> um, like, Nobody, if you believe in the Lord, and you have a good connection with him, pretty good connection, um, the Lord's going to protect you. You're still going to get hurt, okay? Not like you're invincible. No. People are still going to be mean to you. But God is going to help you. He's going to help you go through it. Now... I'm not going to spend too much time on it, so I'm going to end it here. But, <clears throat> just, it doesn't matter if they're long or short. Is that is that you keep it in your heart and then you believe in the Lord. Right? Believe, believe in the Lord with all thine heart. Well, before I end it, God needs to come through and talk. Hey, he needs to come and talk a little bit. All right, let's listen. Believe in me with all thine heart. For I shall save you if you believe in me. Do not believe in the enemy. Because the enemy did not save you. I came down... And I died on a cross. That's where you can have eternal life. I took the punishment that you deserved for your sins. But I loved you and I was jealous of you. So I came down to save you. <clears throat> you may think you don't deserve anything I give you you do because you do my will <clears throat> for if you keep doing what you are supposed to if you keep doing my will you'll keep getting blessed with more and more so I tell you now believe in thy Lord with all thine heart that way I shall save you and thy shall be in heaven with me.
Now I think that was pretty good right there. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this. You keep that word in your heart. Remember it with your heart, not in your brain, with your heart. Remember it. J just hide it in your heart, not in your brain, in your heart. Father God, I just wanna thank you for this day, God. I wanna thank you for all that you do. Thank you for giving us an awesome word today, God. Please help tomorrow to be a good word. Please help to be blessed. Thank you for blessing this word on this beautiful Monday, God. I thank you for all that you do. Please help tomorrow to be a great day at school for the viewer and for all of us, God. I ask that you forgive us of our sins, God, every unrighteous thing that we did, God. Everything we shouldn't have done, but we did anyways. And we knew we shouldn't have do it, but we just wanted to be cool, God. I ask that you forgive us, Lord, of every unrighteous thing, God. We'll continue of all our days to love and praise your name. We thank you for all that you do, Lord. And we thank you for coming down and taking the punishment that we deserve, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <clears throat> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and everybody who believes in the word loves you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.